and uh, Clarks are some of his prime movers. Thanks, Dipper. Start of the second half. And there's the bounce in the middle. Yashenko, nicely done. Down to Schwass, who boots towards half forward. Riccardi got a hand to it. Archer gets back first. Still Archer, surrounded by Katz. Longmire in trouble. Tanner picks it up. Does nicely. Lynch's kick is clever. And Hawking's got it. Hawking to Riccardi. The kick not particularly good. King in front. Well played. King prods it back inside the 50. Allison slipped in behind the defence and could almost get 50. Well, they pay the price for a bad kick coming out. Riccardi with some time. Brett Allison certainly slipped his opponent there as the pack moved forward. He was able to slot in behind. The ball, a little bit extra carry there, probably caught everyone out, and he was the one there to take it. Allison directly in front. 21 goals for the season. That's behind Longmire, Carey, and Roberts. He pulls it to behind. That would have been handy up into the breeze to level the score. 6 4, 6 9. The margin back to five points. O'Wiley, fast developing into one of the best full backs in the competition. Prodigious kick towards the outer side. Ashenko comes on the angle and takes a very good grab. Not easy when the ball has gone that far. To Schwass, sends it back in. They'll contest about 30 metres out. Longmire in front. Barnett thumps it goalward. O'Reilly knocks it down. Riccardi left without it. Beautiful hand pass to Rock from Longmire. Marvellous goal. The Kangaroos lead. Melbourne were always going to keep that in the forward line. Johnny Barnett being able to jump high to be able to knock the ball back in. John Longmire, very quick hands, finds Anthony Rock, and as a good rover should, he was able to finish it off. His 10th goal for the season, 15 behinds go alongside that, and I think accuracy is what Anthony Rock needs to continue to address. So North Melbourne hit the front by the narrowest of margins. Nice rover's goal. Lately, who conceded one to Adler in the second quarter. Colbert underneath it, Carey from behind, Colbert nearly the mark. In fact, Geelong supporters believing it should have been the mark, and so did he. Doesn't matter what they think or we think, it's what the umpire thinks. A bounce in the square, and pretty crowded it is too. McCurden does well, Bearstow, best on the ground in the first half. Kicks to half forward. Mark to Brewer? No. I thought I heard a whistle. Or well, a free kick. Free kick was paid for the holding on Dean Laidley. Brewer to half forward. Adlett bustled out by Martin. Adlett just with the one goal today. And that came from a free kick when Laidley did... Uh, or oh! Discretion. Great mark, Stevens. King. Short of right centre win. Kicks to half forward. Colbert will have to go. He does. McCurden's there. Colbert applies a shepherd. Tanner. Looks for a hand pass, Cobb, oh, a little quick kick. Barnett, though, has got it. And gets boot the ball quickly, long, just about into the goal square. It bounces, it bounces, hit the post. Wow. North in command early in the third quarter. Barnett, one goal, two against his name, 7-5 to 6-9. And you just get the impression the Roos have moved up a gear or two in the third quarter as Tim McGrath kicks in. Went down the middle of Shanko. Could have been pushed in the back. Yes, he was. He'll get the free. Exerting an influence, Alex Shanko. They're kicking directly at him. And so far, he's been equal to the challenge. Maybe they need to run off him. Here's Ashenko. Sends it back. It holds up in the breeze. Big leap down there by McKernan. Rock again. Still rock deep in the pocket. Snaps. Misses. Out of bounds in the opposite pocket. Anthony Rock. McGrath. Left back pocket. The side down by two points now. Kicks towards the wing. Brothers goes up in front uncontested. To Hawking. They need more from him. Hawking. Clever kick to Mench. Whoops. Laidley was waiting for him. Mench has got the ball on the wing, plays on. 
Kicks towards centre half forward. Up comes Darcy. Over the top, it's knocked away by Smith. Alex is roving now. Well, interesting hand pass. Archer back to Smith. Weight of numbers tells the story. Smith's kick not particularly good. Hawking's got it. They need to man up quickly north now. Hawking turned his back momentarily. Hawking goes down towards half forward. Brownless comes on the lead. Up he goes, knocked away. Crocker was the man who was intent on destruction. Bearstow knocks it back, but only as far as Laidley. Laidley kicks it out wide. King should win this duel. Brothers chases him. King stops right on the boundary line. Back to Laidley. They had him in the pincer movement, but somehow he got away. Across it comes to Crocker. Towards half forward. McKernan got a hand on it. McGrath tackled by Longmire. It spills across to Schwoz. He's in all sorts of trouble. Held to him. And a bounce inside the centre square. Dennis Rich will bounce it. Geelong goal so far in the third term. 7-5 to 6-9. And North Melbourne leading by two points. Travers wins that one, but straight to Barnett. So one game of the Foster's Cup for Hawthorne. Carey, who's kicked for McGrath, wins the duel on this occasion. Twisted out wide. Mansfield over the top of Longmire onto Lynch, who's been fairly productive. That's close to the boundary line. And just touched over at Rock and McCarty. Rock exerting an influence in the third quarter. Content to see it thrown in next to the interchange gates. Crothers and McCurden. The rookie against the possible winner of the Norwich Rising Star Award this year. Rock across his body. Archer almost. Allison. Barnett plays it in front. Chance for Stevens. Onto the left foot. The snapshot is wide. Maybe a behind. The wind carting it towards the behind post and through for a minor score. Stevens already in this quarter. Put in his bid for mark of the day. So Tim McGrath to kick in. The difference, three points. McGrath kicks it clear of hand and foot, the required distance, and breaks clear. Straight down the centre of the ground. Oh. Hocking, Dennis said they need more from him. They got plenty from Couch in the first half. He got flattened again into the goal square, and the ball rushed through from the hands of Smith and or Martin for a minor score to the Cats. Their third rush behind, and their first score, interestingly, of the third quarter. Just on five, but it's gone. Smith brings it in. That's very dangerous. Archer got hands to it. Crocker tidies up behind. Clears the zone towards the outer side. Carey did it brilliantly to Schwoz. Scholl is on down the ground. There's a great chance for North. Scholl out of side. Not sure he should have gone there. Kicks over the man in front of him. Pulls it back to the middle though. Allison, Spring Hill Jack, almost the mark. Opportunity for Riccardi, dragged off it, in goes Longmire, King couldn't control it, Mansfield comes away, Mansfield into space, rebound opportunity for the Cats now, Ablett comes on a lead, Couch has got the ball forward at the wing, bypasses Ablett, it's going to be a free kick I think where the ball was kicked from, he was pushed in the back in the act of kicking, so Couch will get this kick. Down towards left half forward. Stevens unhappy, but in many respects, it's a good result for North. Oh, it is so. Uh, it's, it's pulled the play out. I mean, Couch was on the flow. He was going. They were well structured up in the full forward line. That's a good stop for North Melbourne. How can that happen? Brothers into open space after the stop. Plenty of time for North to man up there. They didn't. Brothers, 50 metres out. Don't know much about him. We'll see what he can do from here. I guess it equates to three-point range. Down towards full four. Did somebody touch that? I hope so for North's sake. May have been Crocker. And across the line for a behind. Smith wants to go and does. Sure. Laidley. Goes very wide. Brownless going back with Scholl. And out of bounds she goes. 65 metres from goal on the outer side. 13 minutes left in the third quarter. 48 to 47 in favour of North. Excellent first half. North on top early in the third. McCurden. A scramble out there. And the umpire's given a free kick to the rules. It's going to be taken by Wayne Schwoss. 
And like Anthony Rock, starting to pick up a few possessions early in the third quarter. Carey got front position. Colbert looks for the hand pass, intended for Tanner. Now he's got it. Lost it just as quickly as the tackle came from Archer. And out of bounds in front of Wayne Carey. Centre wing on the outer side. Players have the wind at their backs. McCurden with Crothers, the rookie. I think it's an effective tap. Good tackle by Rock. Couch from Hocking. Browless, Ashenko, who's done that job well down there today. Brewer. Still he goes. Browless. Will he have a shot from the boundary line? He does. He's missed, missed everything, in fact. Out of bounds on the full. Not the right option, Terry. Should he have had a shot? He needed to drag that one right across towards the top of the goal square. But uh, Alex Sashenko is doing a very good job for North Melbourne back there, as we see Kenny Hinkley on the bench. You know, perhaps there is more to that uh, bruised nose than what we thought. So Smith kicks in. Sashenko. Well, I said before, doing a Gary Dempsey role in defence, and that really does describe it to a T. He's taking mark after mark and kicking North out of danger repeatedly. McCurden in front, McGrath behind, Tanner with the quick kick pass. No, it's not past Stevens. he sharked it well. Stevens from left centre wing, kicks long to half forward. Chance for Lynch, paddles the ball further forward to get it away from Longmire and succeeds in bringing a boundary throw in. Just under 12 minutes, still three-quarter time. North Melbourne lead by a point, and they're playing very well. McKernan in front, Crothers the big leap from behind. It falls wide of the pack. Rock, hurried kick, gutsy mark by Carey. He's marked about 30 metres out, almost directly in front. His best effort this season, seven goals against Hawthorne in round three, Friday night game. He's looking at number five here. Outstanding player. This for a seven point lead. Wayne Carey punches it into the breeze. It's a goal. The kick of the captain. A very timely goal there. And North Melbourne increased their lead. Dennis Pagan has sent his side out after the half time break. Very much intent on working hard. Carey gets the advantage here of Anthony Rock working hard in close prior to this. And a quick kick. Carey had the drop on his opponent and was able to finish off for his fifth goal. Five goals to Wayne Carey, 45 for the season now. The Cats not in trouble, but they do need the next goal. They're going to get a free kick at midfield. Simpson, the recipient. The former Saint, Sean Simpson, kicks the half forward. Brownless outnumbered three to one. Archer through his legs. Brewer a chance. Adlett slaps it forward. Rocks on the bottom again. And gets congratulated by his teammates for his efforts. Halfway through the third quarter, the Cats' goal is so far with the wind. So an excellent quarter for North Melbourne. One of the problems of Geelong this year has been its inconsistency, fairly, to McKernan. Fumble, push in the back there, we'll get a free kick. So the fumble helped him in the end. Lately telling him where to kick. He goes in that direction, which is centre wing. Carey, and why wouldn't he go there? He's kicked five goals today. Had the better of Tim McGrath, who's certainly not been disgraced. But how do you stop that man? With a shotgun, perhaps. Barry Stoner still apparently with that chest padding after that badly bruised sternum last week. McKernan slapped back by Lynch or punched back to be more correct. Hocking a chance or Bairstow flipped it away with the boot. Tanner, good hand pass, couch over the top. Brownless, can he kick a goal? Oh, lovely sidestep, Billy, you beauty, and kicks it. The Cats leading goal kicker. Billy's back in town, 8-6 to 7-11. And 
to say Geelong needed that one would certainly be an understatement. Uh, just the one goal to date in this particular quarter with the aid of the breeze. North Melbourne very committed at the ball and Geelong were able to take advantage there. But again, it was those midfield players of Bairstow and Couch who were the instigators of quick hands through the midfield. Brownless being able to finish it off. Billy Brownless, three goals now, is returning to some fine form. And if they make the finals, he will be a very valuable player for them. Outstanding game this, a point the difference, but you get the feeling that Geelong are trailing by about 10 minutes at the moment. Mashenko beaten by Stoneham, Bairstow ran into a dead end, and another bounce. And the two former West Australians, Shaper, Mark Bairstow and Alex Mashenko. Big Alex, terrific game so far. You get the feeling Dennis Pagan challenged his players at halftime, particularly his midfielders. There's Bairstow to couch, tackled by Schwass, scrambles it towards half court. Crocker, terrific stuff. Floats one back towards half court. How about that? McKernan with the run of the ball. Schwass to Rock, who's playing inspired football. Two on one situation down there. Carey was he held. Not according to the umpire. O'Reilly gets it away. Couch defiantly. Shovels the hand pass out wide. Lynch comes away. Lynch from half back goes to midfield and Stoneham. He can take it and go, Barry Stoneham. Alongside this centre circle goes looking for Ablett. Guess who? Ashenko. I've been watching Sean Red last week. Only today he's doing it better. Laidley towards the outer side. Awkward bounce for Tanner. Archer leads back in the race. Simpson getting there quickly. Well done. And Archer content to push it across the line. Eight and a half minutes till three-quarter time. North Melbourne lead by a point. And who'd want to be a coach, Dennis? Yes, Malcolm Blight looking on. So much of the season riding on this game. The ball up on the outer side. Well, you tell us, Terry. <laughs> this is an incredibly tight time for coaches here now. As we see now, Dennis still ringing his moves. You know, the, the hands of the game, the power in the game, all remains with the players just at the moment. Stevens floats one towards half forward. The battle down there, Carey and McGrath. McGrath's getting the free kick. The holding decision against the North Melbourne captain, who's kicked five goals today, Tim McGrath. A man under siege at the moment, along with his fellow defenders, because it's been a good quarter for North. North Melbourne leading by a point, McGrath. McKernan, good punch away. Simpson offloaded as he kicked. Umpire has a quick look. Oh, Crocker! What a mark! He's been moved away from Brownless. Schwass started slowly, his best quarter so far. Awkward kick. Mansfield takes the mark. Your real attacking defender. Well, and that's a beautiful kick with the win. Lands it right on 50. Off the hands. Brownless was uh, out bustled there. Fairly's kicked towards centre wing. And the mark is taken by Minch. Spent most of the first half on the bench. Did Minch. Oh, well weighted kick. Stoneham. And they need more from him, Barry Stoneham. Only three and two so far. Adlet's calling for it. Funny old kick, won't quite get the distance. Brownless! Great mark! So Brownless to go for his fourth. He's kicked three goals, two so far. And while the heat's been on Atlas, Willie Brownless is coming back to some of his best form of three or four years ago. Six marks coming in for kick number 11, and as I said, his fourth goal to put the Cats back in front. From 25 metres, he goes. Geelong leads. We certainly have everything in this game now. The, the tough, tight, in-close football, and now the ability of the players to rise with some of the skills that we're looking for. And this one is one of them. As the pack forms, Brownless, with eyes only for the ball, gets the break through the traffic, and is able to finish it off and kick his fourth goal. Approaching three-quarter time. Mashenko, favoured by the bounce, gets it down. This is Blakey, out of the middle towards half forward. Back goes Lynch, he has to wait, he thumps it out wide. 
Campbell tracks it towards the boundary. And a throw in. Warren Campbell is on for John Barnett. McKernan and Stoneham. They keep their distance initially. That's unusual at boundary throw in. Stoneham goes over the top, taken by Shaw in trouble. Gets it away to McKernan. McKernan off one step, kicks inside the 50. Here's Carey, five goals already, 60 metres out, pulls it back. Rock works his way in front. Almost a clever mark to the little man. Still he goes. Allison hard against the line, accelerates away, feeds it inside. Here's trouble, Nichols. Or was it Stevens? Stevens was closed down quickly. Comes back to Allison. He was across the line. And it will be thrown in. North working at close quarters. Hectic passage of play. The goal here would be very handy. Stunham and McKernum both backing their leap here. There's some contact. Stoneham works away. McKernan wins it down, though. Bairstow waiting in front to Colbert. Colbert scrambles a kick out of the 50. Nichols in front. Goes across the boundary line to be thrown in. Cats by five points. Just under five and a half minutes till three-quarter time. A real battle, this one. McKernan in front of Stoneham. They exchange places. It fell to Stevens, who's wrestled to the ground. Whistle and the ball up. Nichols on to replace King, who's having a stint on the bench. Stoneham gets front position, taps it straight to a North Melbourne player and Scholl. Archer. Pretty untidy stuff, but it's rugged in the clinches. Lynch to Bearstow. A high kick, it'll go close to the boundary line. The wind will probably carry it over. It does. Free kick to North. And the recipient is going to be Dean Laidley at left half-back. He had his troubles with Gary Ablett in the second quarter, resulting in Ablett's only goal so far, a reversed free kick. Dean Laidley had plenty to say. And he's been terrific for the Roos this year. Hugs the boundary line with the kick. McCurden. What a find this year. Corey McCurden. Kick stands right up into the breeze. And good mark is taken by Paul Lynch. Quite impressed with him. He's done well. How can the Cats build? Hocking on the bench. Kickers to right half forward. Guess who? Big Alex again. What a job he's doing. Feeds Laidley. Laidley across his body and across the ground. It sits nicely for Nichols, who fumbles unaccountably because there was no one there. Darcy's got him, or had him. But Nichols equal to the occasion. Kick not long to half four. Up they go. No one can bring it down. It's a North Melbourne ball. Rock again. Great quarter from him. Into space. Lynch gets there first. And Campbell can just be content with seeing it over the boundary line. But it's in North Melbourne's right forward pocket. Under four minutes now left in the third quarter. Scoreboard showing North 8-6, Geelong 8-11. The catch by five points. Stoneham. In front, got a little, little bit of a nudge in the back, tried to crash his way through. And the Cats are again going to get out of this. But they've been doing a lot of defending in this quarter. Ablett missed it. Martin. On to Schwoss, who's been good in the third quarter. He's lifted. Ball spills free. The umpire says the advantage. Brewer's got it for Geelong. Spears the pass he'd intended for Darcy. Too wide of him. Smith was wearing him pretty closely, but it's out of bounds. Geelong's left forward pocket. Peter, I think uh, Malcolm Blight needs to look at Ablett. He, he's doing nothing playing up in the midfield, around half foot. I think he should go right back to the square and move Darcy out so it's just one-on-one -on -one down there. A bit crowded, Terry, on this ground? It is. So boundary throw in. Ablett was up high, off hands, the hands of Schwoss. Free kick going North Melbourne's way. Nichols has it. I think it's uh, Schwoss's, is it? Yes. Who gives it straight away back to that same player. Trent Nichols, away he goes from left half back. He peeled off pretty quickly and still he goes. The little chip shot and North are away. Laidley, long kick to half forward. It's all Geelong. That's as far as they go. Lynch. He's been very good. 13 possessions for Lynch. Goes down towards half forward. Colbert running into space. 
He can go over the top and does to Stoneham. Stoneham about 75 metres out from goal. Bacon goal square, but he pulls it back towards the middle. Martin favoured by the kick. And Martin is winning this battle against Ablett. In the last few minutes, Ablett looking a little out of sorts. Martin goes towards the outer side. The ball's in short. Simpson knocks it to his own advantage. Still he goes, Simpson. Could have almost got a free. He's getting one. Forward at the wing. 8-11 plays 8-6. Geelong in front. But bear in mind, North Melbourne will finish on the breeze. A centering kick. Up goes Crockett. Ablett crashed into his back. Gave away the free kick. His concentration at the moment is shaky. Alex Ushenko has undermined it considerably. Crocker comes away. Boots towards the wing. Carey on the lead. Carey just forward of the wing. Goes down towards half forward, setting it up for Longmire. A battle of the bodies. O'Reilly was there. Falls to Stevens. Vacant goal square. Lynch is going back. Lynch. Meters in the clear, but it runs away from him. He can't keep it in. Well, it took a North Melbourne roll. Lynch had it covered, and suddenly that ball just simply ran away from him. And now North have a throw in in their forward pocket. 1.44 remaining till three-quarter time. McKernan props in front, directs it down to Nichols, who couldn't control it. Lynch did nicely. Hocking to Mench. Mench comes away, kicks for space. In front is Tanner. Crocker worked his way in front is going to get a free kick and I think he's pretty lucky. Very lucky. Darren Crocker had the free kick. O'Reilly fisted away from John Longmire apropos of that. And the fans will tell you what they thought of the decision. Five points the difference as the clock ticks down to three-quarter time. Been a good quarter though by North against the breeze. They'll be coming home with it at their backs. Stodham having his best quarter too. Looks for Tanner. Crocker punches. Stevens at the fall of the ball. Good hand pass. On the end of it is Campbell. Off the side of the boot. Carey and McGrath wrestle again. Carey, can he get number six? Ball over the line. And the umpire says all clear. So a rush behind in the end. Well, it's amazing when you think what happened on the wing with Tanner and Crocker. And then you watch Carey and McGrath. Enough said, Dennis. Sums it up pretty well. McGrath out of defence. But he have catch there. Simpson. O'Reilly. Still inside 50. Barnett approaching fast. Archer. Oh, spoiled his own man down there. Barnett to the Abbott. Was this it? Was it bounces? It won't be. Smith gets a fingernail to it in front of Darcy. It's out of bounds. Geelong's right forward pocket. And we have 30 seconds left in the quarter. Terrific game of football. North, you would think, with the advantage, not on the scoreboard at the moment, but they come home with the breeze. Eshenko, who's been terrific. Ablett in the congestion, and there's plenty of it there. The North Melbourne defence working manfully, and they come up with a free kick. Clock continues to run. North can take their time. Stevens. Well, fairly had to stretch. He's got still more time. He boots it towards the wing. And Smith will get a free. Mm. So we're down to three-quarter time. And Smith takes the kick from half-back. And certainly, the crowd not happy with his umpires. Gary Ablett held to just one goal so far. He's got 99. And then we saw before him, Wayne Carey has got five this afternoon. Geelong lead. It's 8-11 to 8-7. The start of the final term at Prince's Park. Geelong lead by four points. North Melbourne coming home with a breeze that's weakening now. Vashenko, who's been terrific, goes up and gets it down. Simpson left it for Tanner. Longmire feeds it out to Scholl, who knocks it forward. Taken by Rock to Schwartz. 55 metres out. Floats it down towards the pocket. Carey out of bounds on the fourth. He's kicked five goals this afternoon. That would have been his ninth mark. He took 17 back in round three against Hawthorne, the best individual performance this year. That one wasn't played, of course, as McGrath comes back to half-back. Ushenko fumbled it initially, got it to Crockett as Schwass, confronted, gets the kick away. Touch ball is the call. 
Mansfield, it's a hot one, or was it? Yes, well, there's a courageous umpire for you. I thought I heard the call, and that's got to be 50. Well, the carriage only goes halfway. The call was touch ball. Mansfield thought it was a mark. In the heat of battle, that's a pretty tough call, but the umpire stuck to his guns. It was holding the ball from the moment Mansfield was tackled. Inexplicably, though, the ball was thrown away and there was no 50. Allison, directly in front. decision I think that Dennis Rich had his back to the player when the ball was thrown and I think we'll find that's probably why he didn't pay the 50. I don't think he saw it. No that's true and uh, but the, the call here is loud and clear is my understanding and Mansfield I think he knew what was going on tried to con it but Allison took the tackle did it well and has received the benefit from it. So it's 61 close 59 in favour of North Melbourne a controversial goal to start the last quarter Stoneham and Ashenko go at it. It's Lynch, who's been very good for the Cats. Brownless. Same words could describe Billy today. Four goals, two. A vintage performance from him. And he's got it quickly onto Hocking. Adler stranded, literally, figuratively, on 99. Couch from behind. Can't take the mark. Stevens. Martin. Does the tidying up? No, he doesn't. He's left to Schwoss. He's had an excellent second half. Good mark to Mansfield. This time. Away he goes. Low trajectory pass. Darcy, who kicked five last week in the mud and the mire at Cadinia Park. Still up on the forward line. And we just haven't seen enough of Tim Darcy today to, to warrant being held in that position, I don't think. A little bit of a, a luxury having him down there, hasn't he? And I think it has distracted uh, from Ablett's performance. Only his third kick. Darcy from 35 metres out will make it 40 directly in front. Kick is off target at the post. So first score for Tim Darcy this afternoon. The goal would have been handy for Geelong. Ross Smith to kick in. One point the difference in favour of North. Smith, who earlier in the day kicked out on the full from full back. And the next one, he ripped straight down the centre, kicked at a good 65 to 70 metres. Predictably, he'll go to the defensive side of the ground. Goes for distance. Stoneham reaches over the top, couldn't control it. Fell at his feet, hocking, and passes it forward. Socket towards the outer side. Allison this time soccer's off the ground. Mansfield made a beeline for Allison. Allison's taken on two of them and beaten them. Well played. Lynch now with some time. Strong tackle got him down. It was Rock. And it's going to be a free kick to Rock. He's been inspired since half time. Anthony Rock, right half forward, centering kick. Longmire will have to go from behind O'Reilly. Barnett kept it in front initially. Tanner was in the road. The close quarters got it to O'Reilly. The clever hand pass favoured Riccardi. Riccardi goes around the outer side. This will be interesting. A lot of skill out there. Couch almost the mark. Play on's the call. Couch back to the voice. He heard Hocking. Hocking feeds it off to Stoneham. Stoneham's forward at the wing. Goes for height with this kick, if nothing else. They contest about 30 metres out. Martin and Abbott wrestle behind the pack. Picked up by Brownless. Opportunity for Brewer. Still Brewer. Hard against the line. It wouldn't surprise if he got this. He's missed. Near side. Gifted player, as we said earlier. He didn't miss by much. One goal three for Shane Brewer. Scores dead level. 9-7 to 8-13. Shinko and Pitcher has been magnificent this afternoon. Crocker. Well clear of tap. Just a couple of spots of Ryan. Nothing significant at the moment. Shouldn't detract from the spectacle. Carey, speaking of such. Five goals to him. He kicked one from here in the first quarter, or second quarter. Goes long again. Got the distance once more over the head of Lynch. But through for a minor score. In fact, his first behind of the day. 
Campbell preparing to come on, 9 8 to 8 13. So North Melbourne in front, now the narrowest of margins. O'Reilly. To the defensive side of the ground is Schenko, Stoneham, Couch, who's been magnificent for Geelong. First two quarters were sensational. Brown! kick this even allowing for the win Adlett going mad get it to me son get it to me here he is no not this time oh he's got a free wow will he get two goals from three kicks earlier he got his 800th goal for Geelong from a free kick will he get his 100th for the season from a free kick what do you think Terry I think Mickey Martin looked at him early, but I think perhaps he did turn his eyes back towards the ball at the last moment. Questionable. Yeah. Well, the crowd, crowd's running on already. He's kicked it. Edward gets his hundred. And they come from everywhere. And Gary Edward's in there somewhere. Whoa. He's played 15 times against... Uh, North Melbourne for 72 goals. His best was 10 last year in round 14, but he also brought up his time for the season, the second fastest ever. Now, Pete, there was a nasty incident in there. Dean Langley and the spectator, and a couple of big punches were thrown, and this really shouldn't be allowed to happen. What's going on? That's now? in the middle, but Langley was close to Ablett, and he certainly let a couple go. And the North Melbourne player shouldn't have to put up with this. This is not good at all. I guess you could say it's become traditional, but how do you keep them out, Terry? Well, I don't know what you do, but we've got a game that is so important in the context of the competition. There's Ablett. Congratulations to him. Marvellous performance, but I mean, in this day and age, with sport as it's played and with spectators as they can be, and we think of Monica Selesh, I mean, this is just not on. You can't have these people on your ground. There's all the security guards here, they were virtually powerless to stop it. Very dangerous situation. And meanwhile, back in the centre of the ground, the whole North Melbourne side have got together. Wayne Carey has pulled them in, talking to them. This is a crucial moment, this next centre bounce. You know, the Geelong players could be in some degree of euphoria or at least a pressure relief for having, having got his 100th goal. Now, can they get themselves right back onto the task? Because the bottom line at the moment is to win this game of football. Clock has stopped on 15 minutes to go in the quarter. There's plenty of time. And obviously this was preordained. I'm sure Dennis Pagan talked about what they would do in the event of Ablett getting his 100 and the turmoil that would follow. The North Melbourne players have banded together in the centre. It's interesting, I was with Robert Shaw during the weekend. Uh, he had designed a similar thing last year when Tony Modra was to kick his 100th goal. And uh, Fitzroy had a particular play that they put in place and got some benefit from it. But with all that aside, I think Gary Ablett, I mean, this is a tremendous achievement for him once again. 100 goals again in the football season. And going for his second Coleman medal. But it's something by the same token, Terry, that's got to be addressed. Yes, I agree, and, and I think you can only go through a public education process. All the people who come to watch this game have got to appreciate that the, the ground is the environment for the players. It can get uh, dangerous for the players when so many people obviously invade the ground, and I think uh, it is a plea to the, the footballing public that they do respect uh, the Oval on the, and during the playing time as being the environment for the players and the players alone. Well, we ask two uh, people to leave the ground. And the mounted police. So a long stoppage, about five minutes in all. So let's check the score. It's North Melbourne 9-8 and Geelong 9-13. And by Dennis Rich looking to see that everybody is off the field. The happy bounces it soon will be in darkness. Peter in all that, John Longmire has now gone to centre-half back on Billy Brownless and Ian Fairley off the ground. So play restarts. Adlett's got his 100, let's get on with the footy. The important thing now up for grabs, the four points. Campbell's kick, a real up-and-under job, Hocking. 
almost marked it, tackled by Stevens. Didn't have the football, there'll be a free kick. There'll be pressure off Ablett. Maybe we'll see the best of him in the remaining minutes of this match. It's like a cricketer in the nervous 90s. Rounders in front, McCurdan cuts across in front to take the mark. Good grab. Free kick. Well, Shepard approaching Shepard it out, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Now, this is the man who can kick it over a weak silo from 70 metres. On the shoulder, yes, not much doubt about that. Good grab by McKernan. Won't trouble the statistician in the end. Ground us from 55 metres. Ablett on the lead. It wasn't a good one, or he didn't deliver it at the right time. Tudor overruns it. Laidley, Ashenko, the two combine superbly. Spirals the punt kick to the outer side. Mench is the closest player to it, but it beats him over the boundary line. And Trent Nichols for a throw-in with 14 minutes left in the quarter. The Cats by five points. 9-13, 9-8. Stoneham in front. McKernan reaches over the top. Close to the boundary line. Hawking's got it. Banks out of the pack. Quick hands. Colbert. Colbert goes down towards half forward. Too much carry on the kick for Scholl. Waiting behind it's Tudor. 60 metres out from goal. Here comes Darcy. And that's a good grab. Darcy. 45 degree angle. Will kick from just inside the 50. The Cats have had more of the ball this afternoon. North Melbourne as they normally do, They've worked so hard. They've worn them down a couple of times, but full credit to Geelong. They've kicked back every time. Darcy in short, lacks marking. Stoneham, metres in the clear. And no one wants to come and claim him and even stand on the mark. Well, Vyshenko comes up now. Very important kick, this one. Larry Stoner. The lead is five points. This to make it 11. Distance won't be a problem. He's missed to the right-hand side. Golden opportunity for the Cats. Will it come back to haunt them? Dean Laidley down there retrieving the ball. Not the favourite man amongst the Geelong supporters. Here's the kick in meantime from Smith, straight down the middle, Stoneham goes up, missed it, recovers pretty well on the ground, soccers it away from Hocking, bad luck for the Cats, it went directly to Rock, Rock boots it inside the 50, Carey battles with McGrath, got a hand to it, couldn't hang on, McGrath clears the zone, out wide, Mensch leads in the race, Tudor is breaking around the outer side for him, Mensch spots him, Tudor has to stop and come back, Gave Laidley time, over the top, out of bounds. Bad execution. The kick needed to be wider out in front. Laidley saw a bit of that ball. Boundary throw in. 12 minutes left in the match. 9-8 to 9-14, Geelong by a goal. Stoneham and McCurdan. Colbert, Sharks it well, and gets plenty of distance. Ashenko and Ablett, oh. Martin at the back on the shoulder. Free kick North Melbourne this time. Martin doesn't know who's getting it. Big Alex. <laughs> now Laidley. McCarty of his fingernails. And those of Wayne Schwoss out of bounds where it was just a few moments back. Peter, I think Malcolm Blight's got to look at uh, doing something with Alex Ichenko back there. Perhaps if Barry Stone and was to go down and just run with him and try and distract him away from the Ablett-Darcy combination. Rock's kick. High, Tanner punches and comes down with a mark. Past Paul Couch, who uh, is obviously a little bit tired now. Terrific stats, though, for him, 18 and 7. And Bairstow earlier was very dominant, 15 and 8. But those two have slowed. Colbert over the top, couldn't handle it. Nichols paddles it in front. Opportunity for Brewer, Rock went in hard. Archer. Brushes one tackle, can't brush two. Couch, long looping hand pass. Hocking right on 50. Left foot snapshot or tries to bring it out in front. And there he is again, big Alex. Markle free kick, call it what you will. He's got it again. Terrific job done by him. Whatever Dennis Pagan said to him today has worked. 
and uh, he's carried all before him. O'Reilly in front, feels a lost sight of Adelson. Stevens caught by Colbert. No free kick. The umpire calls play on. Couch takes the hand pass. Gets around one. On to Bairstow from 30 metres out. Kicks a goal. I guess fitting the two stars of the catch cap today combined for that one. 10 14, Pedro. Yes, you're right there, Peter. They've been the two key players. They fade, faded out of the game in the third quarter. I thought North Melbourne defensive unit started to take some control there. But uh, the work rate of Couch and Bairstow is phenomenal. The ability of these two boys to continually run hard forward, creating opportunities, and Bairstow as a runner through the game is always a potential goal scorer. 27 possessions for Couch, 24 for Bairstow. But one side you would back to come back from here would be North Melbourne. Schwash digs it out of the middle. Carey goes up and missed it. Loose ball in the pocket. Crocker kept his footing. Still Crocker, deep in the pocket. Sets it up. Carey favoured by the kick. Back he went. It was slapped away in just the nick of time down there by Colbert. Allison Hunt against the line. Going back with courage. Crocker going in there solidly was Lynch. And he was prepared to concede a behind. Good decision from a young boy. He came on to replace Andrew Wills, who went off injured early and has acquitted himself very well in this pressure game. Still plenty of time over 10 minutes. 11 points the margin. McGrath to Lynch to Riccardi. Around the outer side. In from the side, McKernan. Could have almost got a free kick. Knocked down of there by Ashenko. Taken by Colbert to Hawking. What a big play this is. Still Hawking knocks it on. Chance for Simpson. Hocking alongside, Simpson took too long. The hand pass ill-directed. Some indecision, Stevens down there with Archer. It's flipped out wide, opportunity for North. Going to the ground out there was Clarkson. Brownless was carried forward in the tackle, no free. Colbert looking for Ablett. Mickey Martin was there step for step. Ablett the recovery, pulls it back. Short, a behind. Back to 12 points. Two goals, three by Gary Ablett. There's two goals today from free kicks. Smith with the breeze. Good kick in. Ishenko the target. Stone him up. Almost a mark. Rock. Pressured. Longmire. Long way from goal. From centre wing. Kicks to McGrath. Blakey tries to keep it in out of bounds. And right half forward for North Melbourne. Nine minutes left in this contest. It's been a great match from start to three parts of the way through the last quarter. What is the finish going to see for us? Stodham tried for Hocking, couldn't find him. Mench. Great mark, Couch. Thought about Hocking. Back to Mench. Oh, too high. The umpire didn't see it. And he had his head taken off. So it will be a bounce on centre wing. An important play too, they were off and running. Stodham, McKernan, one by Stodham, Laidley's there, so is Stevens. Thought about Schwoss, goes long. With the left foot up towards midfield, they all missed it. Well, the Cats are defending stoutly. Kick up towards half forward. Oh, good mark to Brewer. On a Bairstow. Coming back into the form that saw him blitz the opposition in the first half. Laidley at the back. Does well. Oh. Across his body. Laidley back to Bairstow who marks on centre wing. Mark Bairstow. Goes in short. Taken by Tudor. Little chip pass intended for Stoneham and or Brownless. Timely fist by Longmire. Got it towards the boundary. It's out of bounds and will be thrown in. The Cats are hanging on. 10-15 to 9-9. Throw in just outside the 50. McKernan works his way in front. Stoneham from behind. Knocks it goalward, taken by Scholl. Stoneham got him. Tudor knocks it on, taken by Hocking. And he's missed. But it increases the lead to over two goals. That'll be a handy point, Dennis. As they say. 10-16 to 9-9. Dennis, you have the feeling that Geelong are resting some de degree of control of this game back away from North Melbourne now. Yep. They just worked their way on top. 
They've got the stronger will at the moment. There's the kick down the middle. Nichols was up, bounced off his chest, waiting behind his Mansfield. He crashes in. That hurt him. Held to him, says the umpire, and a bounce inside the centre square. Mansfield gives it back to the umpire. Good stats again for Michael Mansfield. Schwoss runs in front of the umpire, preventing the bounce. We'll try again. Didn't favour Stoneham. Hocking, maybe. Mansfield. Little look away hand pass to Bairstow. Marking contest inside 50. Ablett and Martin. And Martin. Quite happy to take the ball over the boundary line. And the duel that didn't really eventuate because he only had two kicks. Ablett's had two goals, both from three kicks. They've been out of the play, that pair. Brownless taps down. Quick kick from Stevens. Couches over the line, as is the footy for throwing. But in Geelong's attacking zone, Cats leading by 13 points, 63 to 76. And we've got under seven minutes left in the match. Boundary throw in. Ashenko, who's been terrific. Brownless with the climb. Stevens into space with the hand pass. Simpson and Scholl. Simpson couldn't get a kick at it. Longmire was on the ground. Brewer, well tackled by Scholl. Flipped off. Big Alex is there again. Shoulders as big as the grandstand. Kicks it only about 30 metres. A half volley. Colbert kicks it straight back to him. Kick for kick at a training night. Oh, Schwoss was asleep. Well, the hand pass too hot. Smith need to be a good kick. It's not. It's out of bounds. On the interchange area. Geelong free kick. Pressure beginning to tell. Stoneham to take it. Too far out the score. Kick and a half from goal from Barry Stoneham, who was under an injury cloud coming into this match. Stoneham chewing up time. The clock ticks down. Six minutes to go. 13 points the difference. A little give. Hocking from Colbert. Out in front of goal. Ablett made for him. Couldn't get a run at it. He shepherded out of the contest, but a free kick's going North Melbourne's way. Clock has got it. It's going to the horse. Johnny Longmire, full back. Deep in his own defensive area. Wide kick. Hocking must get a free kick, surely. Schwoss ran at him. Schwoss claims the mark. Well, neither one thing nor the other, according to the umpire. Ball up, down towards right half forward for the Cats. Well, it appears to be a mark. An unusual one, but a mark nevertheless. Stoneham gets it down. Archer stood up in the tackle. Colbert thumps at Goldwood. Wadley has tried hard. Dives after it. Could have almost got it free. Nothing doing. Brewer quick hands away to Bearstow. Cleverly. Tapped it across to Brownless. Deep in the pocket. Woof. Hits the behind post in the opposite pocket on the full. Free kick for North. Well, North Melbourne now running out of time. Just over five minutes to go. And they trail by 13 points. Martin goes for distance around the outer side. Big leap by Crocker. Tanner tidies up behind to Couch. He's been superb. 40 metres out, Couch. Misses. 14 points the difference. Paul Couch in vintage form. So North Melbourne needs three goals in under five minutes to win the match. Ross Smith. Again, a good kick. Lynch. He's got a free kick as well. Came on to replace Wills and he's done well. Simpson will have to go and does. Still outside 50. Scholl stands the mark. He's got in short. Ablett, no, yes. Brewer spins out, kicks, it bends in the post. That's about their fourth poster today. And Brewer has kicked one goal four out of Geelong's tally of 10-18. So the difference out to 15 points. And still the ball in Geelong's attacking half of the ground. Ross Smith again. In front, Crocker. Behind, Carey. Alan Crocker started on Billy Brownless. Brownless one of Geelong's best. Crocker kicks to half forward. Allison! Great mark! And Brett Allison, a chance with the wind at his back to post a badly needed goal for the Roos. Terrific mark. Carey-esque, that one. Great use of the body. Loves a goal. Can kick them. He's right on 50. It's coming around. It's there. It's a goal. 
Harrison second, and North again at Princess Park. And they are. They're, they're really in with the game here now, working very hard. We have uh, Geelong with some 28 shots at goal, North Melbourne with 19. But it's the efficiency and the effectiveness of the display at the moment, where North Melbourne not coming forward all that often, but are able now to convert the opportunities. Have they got enough time to get back? Up they go. Bairstow drives it out of the middle. Wide of Brownless, closing on him Longmire. Loose ball, here's Brewer. Hit the post about three times today, Brewer. In trouble, close to the line. Shoot a brilliant pick up. 40 metres out, across the body, a high kick. It floats towards the goal square. Scholl got a fist on it. And the ball trickles tantalisingly out of bounds alongside the behind post. Well, the blue-collar workers, North Melbourne, a hard-working football team. And Geelong, the aristocrats in many respects, wrestling with skillful players. The ball close to the line. Rock runs it across. And this isn't over yet. 69 plays 78, just over three minutes north. Need to rush it down and score a goal. Ashenko has been superb. Stoneham over the top. It comes to Rock, who clears the zone, at least momentarily. Back to half-back. Scholl favoured by the bounce. Needed to hand pass that one to Barnett. He kicked it very high, though, towards the outer side. Awkward bounce for everybody. Comes to Longmire. Longmire to Scholl. Quick boot to half-forward. Carey comes to meet it. Awkward bounce again. McGrath over the top. Only as far as Stevens. Nichols into space. Nichols. Left foot. What an important kick this is. Nichols settles. Kicks. Oh. And misses. There's one man who wasn't unhappy about the result. A few nails being bitten over there, I think, Dim. 10-10 to 10-18. Eight points the difference, two and a half minutes left in this match. One of the great ones. Stoneham got a push out and will get a free kick. His work rate has lifted after half time, Barry Stoneham. Nine and three, he's taken four marks. I think from memory only had about one and two going into the half time break. But as I said, he certainly has lifted. Minch has the mark. And the Javon ploy now obviously to slow things down as much as possible. Hugs the boundary line with the kick. Plenty of north jumpers there, Ashenko. Stevens at the back. Stevens always effective. Kicks to midfield. Oh, Rock. Backed his judgment, read it beautifully. Archer. Along the ground, a grubber. Well, speed needed here. Lynch goes for the boundary line and gets it. Well, the youngster under plenty of pressure there. Boundary throw it on centre wing. As the clock goes down to under two minutes, and still North Melbourne needing two goals, not impossible. Rock, good tackle by Tanner and Riccardi. They both tie him up. He's going nowhere, so we'll see a bounce. A bounce on centre wing in this match that promised a lot and has delivered even more, perhaps, than we expected. Stodham, Riccardi over the boundary line. And North can't get out of that zone. The Cats trying to tie it up, and they're doing that pretty well at the moment. Stoneham, McKern and Stevens, kicks from a standing start. Allison in the midfield area takes the mark. Now they've got to get a goal from this forward thrust. Allison, there's a man on down there, the opportunity for Barnett, and he's taken the mark. And he's got the breeze behind him, John Barnett, he played one Foster's Cup game with Hawthorne. He's kicked one goal today already when he roved it beautifully up the other end of the ground. He's not going to score with that one. It's out of bounds on the full. Well, a bit like the Bermuda Triangle, that part of the ground as far as North are concerned. Just moments ago, Nichols on the run. That time, Barnett, the set shot. And the clock continues to run. Just over a minute. Well... They've got another look in. Craig Scholl's got the ball just outside the 50. The clock has stopped at one minute. Scholl is centering kick. Carey, last roll of the dice time. Hands to it. Nichols off the pack. He snaps. And he's missed. Seven points the difference. 
a last hurrah from North Melbourne. A concerted effort here on the goal front. But I think Geelong have perhaps just got enough up their sleeve. Couch and Bairstow marshalling the troops in the midfield very well. Big play this one. O'Reilly. Geelong need this ball. Out of sight. Big pack. Loose ball. Allison. Quick hands. Taken now by Stevens. 35 metres and he's got it. And they've got time. 36 seconds remain. North Melbourne storming back at Geelong. Geelong finding perhaps yet another way to lose. North Melbourne 11-11, Geelong at 10-18. And Anthony, Anthony Stevens has had a heck of a day. He's been pitted to Mark Bairstow right throughout. Bairstow has been a very good player, but Stevens, he's a man who sticks to his guns, and he was there when the opportunity came his way, and the left footer put it right through, and North Melbourne are right here with a chance. 36 seconds to go in this thriller, 78 to 77 in favour of Geelong. The centre bounce so important here. Stoda Matashenko, who's been magnificent this afternoon. Riccardi, good tackle, and the ball held in, says the umpire. Now, this is where this rule would be all important. The clock ticks down. Many believe Taimon should be added. Quite Certainly right. not to the advantage of North here. Same two go at it, but it's all in this time. Geelong must get a possession, so too must North. Tudor. Mansfield, who's been excellent across half-back. Longmire, last throw of the dice here. Stevens, they need a mark at half-forward, but the kick's not going to get that far. Stoneham and Nashenko. Stoneham again, there's the siren. Geelong has won. Relief for Malcolm Blood in the coach's box. Barry Stoneham picks himself up. He'll dust himself down and start all over again next week. But a thrill at Prince's Park, one of the games of the year, and Geelong... Plenty of opportunities up there, 10-18, 28 scoring shots to 22, and they've emerged victorious by the narrowest of margins. Security guys come out to help Ablett off the ground. He only got two, but he did get his 100. Let's go to Dipper in the boundary. Thanks very much, people. Well, uh, Billy, Geelong just keep rolling along. Yeah, well, it's a tough one, that one, mate, but it's great to win. You know, if we wouldn't have won, I reckon we would have been rolled. And your own fours been terrific. Huh? Your own fours been very good. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Sally, yeah, so it's been good. All right, mate, you better get off the ground. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Tipper. Billy Brownless with four goals this afternoon. Gary Ablett got his century at the six-minute mark of the final term. He finished the afternoon with two, and on 100, there he is in the midst of that group. And what a game. Geelong home by a point, 10-18 to 11-11.